All right, so this example is pretty much identical to example four, just different numbers. So hopefully you had a chance to give this a try and practice what we learned in example four. So these first two involve just um, pretty much straightforward uh, lookup in the table. You know, we're given a probability and we want to know a z-score for, um, that's, you know, the probability, we're given a probability that z is less than some z-score and we want to know that z-score. Right, so basically we can just look it up, right? I'm just gonna look through the table till I find 0 0.1736 and then find the corresponding z-score. So here I got a negative 0 0.94. I did the same thing here and I got a 0 0.88 when I looked that up, okay? These are the two that are a little more tricky, all right? Now again, let's, let's try to visualize this. All right, um, just kind of go through this visualization again in case it doesn't quite make sense. So um, we're looking for uh, z um, of z-score, right, such that z uh, greater than that z-score is 35.2%. Okay, so in this case, we're kind of, we must be over here. All right, so we have some z-value and the probability of being greater is that. We're giving that probability. But that doesn't correspond at all with what we're given in the table. But we just use the symmetry of the table. I think this one is, this example is probably better than the one in example four because it's easier to see that, okay, this, because of the symmetry of this table, um, if I look up the opposite sign of z, then I'll get the negative of what I want. All right, so I, I'm looking for a z-score, such as z is less than that value, has a probability of, in this case, 0 0.3520. All right, so I just go into my table, I'll look for a probability value of 0 0.3520, and then find the corresponding z-score. And I get a negative 0 0.38, okay? So that is this probability down here. That's this red probability, actually, all right? But um, the probability that z is greater than the opposite of that, 0 0.38, is also equal to 0 0.3520, just by using the symmetry of the table. So the z-score that I'm looking for is a positive 0 0.38, right? So I'm just looking it up and then taking the opposite sign, okay, of the z-score. All right, one more of these tricky tricky kinds, <laughs> tricky types of problems, okay? So in this case, I want, I'm given the probability between a couple of z-scores, so um, minus z and, and positive z is this area here, and I'm told that it's 0.6102, okay? That's what that the area is. And I'm gonna use the symmetry of the table and the fact that here at zero, divides the table in half, right? So um, there's a 50% chance you're above the mean and a 50% chance you're below the mean, okay? So the area to the left of the mean is 0.5 and the area above the mean is 0 0.5. So what I'm gonna do is split that probability that I'm given in half. I'm gonna split it in half. And then what, I'll, what I will end up with is just this area, right? I'm just taking the area I'm given and splitting it in half. So that's the probability um, that a z-score is between the zero and the z-score that I'm looking for. And that's equal to one half of the 0 0.6102, okay? And I get 0. Um, oops, I'm looking the wrong one here, 0 0.3051. Okay, that's just half of the probability I was given. And then what I'm gonna do, because I need to look up, to find the z-score, I've gotta have the probability that something is less than that z-score, right? So I'm just gonna add this half, this probability of a half to it, right? And then I'll have, that will give me the total area below that z-score. All right, so, the probability of z being less than the z-score I'm looking for is going to be one half plus the value I just figured out, 0 0.3051, okay? 
So there I get 0 0.8051. All right, now I've got something that I can just look up in the table. I can look up and find that corresponding z-score, and that's the z I'm looking for. So when I do that, just looking up on the table, I get 0 0.86. All right. All right. That takes care of that example. And um, I will meet you for the next one.